How it's... long have you been together now? Um, I nearly said well, too I'm... long then. Um, <laughs> about two and a half years now, isn't it? Yeah. Two and a half years. <laughs> two and a half years. It's gone so quick to, to considering we met at the after party of coming out yeah. of the jungle. Obviously, yeah. your dad Lovely. in there, and then we met there, and then, yeah. But you'd all you'd seen a photograph, hadn't you? I saw yeah. a photo in the jungle and I said to Carl, Blondie is a bit of me. His words were, stay away from my daughter, so I was like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. this is awkward. Yeah, you don't mess about with him. Now, we've just, I just mentioned there about um, the hair transplant that yeah. you only had done, was it two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks on Monday. Yeah. Wow, it's looking good. Well, this in, <laughs> people keep saying the, the finished product looks great. It looks like I've got a toupee on right now because I can't style it. Um, underneath, it, it really I think it looks fantastic. underneath is where I've had it done to sort my receding hairline out. Is it out. sore? Because I've it's had a, bit a, friend, scabby at the back. a couple of friends of mine have had it done. And they said it was really. It, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't quite nice. Gruesome. It, to, to be fair, there was no pain when I had it done. Um, yeah. Afterwards, obviously a little bit sore and sleeping and stuff like that. I swelled up. Yes. I look like I've been punching the face. A different person. Like, yeah. All his eyes and everything, and he's, everything was just blown off. Right. <laughs> and how... How, <laughs> how, um, how difficult was the anxiety that he, he was obviously living with this? I won't call it anxiety. He just was really insecure. Paranoid. And mm. his confidence, whenever we went out sometimes, to cover it up was always like a... If he got it wrong, he'd be then <laughs> go back in the shower, and then I'd be waiting to get ready, and normally it's the opposite way around. Yeah. But, but I, yeah. I remember seeing you last year yes. and having this exact conversation with mm. you, and your hair, I didn't even notice anything about Everyone your hair. Everyone was the same, like, it, why? It's really strange. I think, like, I, I haven't saved the world doing this. I've just done something for myself to yeah. sort an insecurity out, and, like... Honestly, it's been with me for about five years. Um, my dad was bald, but he looked a great bald. Mm. And I shaved my head um, for Teenage Cancer Trust. And I remember looking in the mirror thinking, wow, you need hair, you are ugly. Oh. So I was like, so I thought, if my hair ever goes, like, I'm struggling. So for five years, I was, like, counting hairs on my pillars, thinking, is it mm. falling out? Mm. And, like, and I was just really paranoid about it. And it was you it, constantly thinking about constantly, it? Constantly. Like, if I was going on a night out, it would take me ages because I think, does it look like I'm receding? And like, when well, you'd have a bath as well, you'd oh, be I like, I was just going to get to that. look how many hairs are coming out on the bath. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's not that bad. It looked like a dead rat was in the bath. <laughs> really? No, I'm joking. I was like, but um, no, I used to buy this spray, like this brown spray as well. Oh, yeah. So when I bathed, obviously, <laughs> I'm a guy and I thought, wash the bath out after me. Daniel would no, go no. in and it looked like a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you haven't washed the bath out? I'm like, oh, God. God talking of swamps, how did you get on in the jungle then? Because, you know, you wouldn't be able to do all You know what? Stuff. I did not, if you notice, I did not take my bandana off once. <laughs> oh, oh that, was that why? That. Mm. God, apart I never from, knew that. Apart from my shower. I didn't take it off. I'm not looking at your bandana right now. <laughs> 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 See, that's why I've always got my top off, so nobody looks at my hair. Has it changed how you feel? Do you, you know what? I, I think it will. Like, I'm just happy I've gone through with it. And for me, it was never really an issue about saying that I've had it done, because I'm not really bothered about I love that about says. you. I love the fact that you've come out and you've said, look, this is what I've had yeah. done, because I think that's important, especially for men and boys. Honestly, I do couldn't well. care less. It's not for anyone out there, like me and Stacey talking outside. You're always going to get someone on yeah. Daily Mail or your Facebook or Twitter saying, oh, you, you've got a big nose or your hair looks bad. I don't care what they think. It's for sorting it out for me mm -hmm. and my insecurity. Do you know what I mean? I think, I think, I think in the past, I've probably been guilty, and I don't know about you girls as well, of, of, of really dismissing a bit men losing their hair and going, well, mm. it's just one thing you have to put up with. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all the stuff we well, have to Well, and men, oh, they can just shave it yeah, off. And they can just mm. shave it off. But, you know, it's really good to, to hear about... To actually hear that, actually, no, I mean, this is a big deal for you. It, it is a big deal, and I'm not, I'm not even joking. The amount of inboxes I've had on Instagram mm. from guys, and I never get guys inboxing me, like, mm. they usually hate me. And, and, they're, <laughs> and, they're, and they're literally like, thanks for being so open about it, because I yeah. actually struggle with mine, and I'm always on about it to my missus, saying my hair's falling out and stuff. So if it's it helped almost... in that way, then it's mm. great, I guess. Does it almost feel like... You would almost have to be a different person if you lost that hair. Did, it, did your yeah, a, a little bit. I just, I just think it's, it's just my confidence well, yeah. for me. Like mm. playing football, obviously, I never put the dye in because it used to dribble into my eyes and I couldn't see anything. Oh. So it made me and of even course, worse. The lads wouldn't take the mick out of that. At and, all, but but it's it's that changing room banter. I thought I thought the lads would be like, you had a hair transplant. All of them was like, good on you. If yeah. you, if you oh, want it done, nice. then good on you. 
Because banter can often yeah. feel to me as just like... Oh, it's vicious. Oh, it's all the yes, time. It's yeah. 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 Horrid, horrid, isn't it? Yeah. But also... Not it's want... good for the big D. Yes. I was going to say, are you doing this in preparation? You know, wedding you know ready. What? No pressure. I obviously oh. want to marry her. Look how beautiful she is. So... Um, it's it's obviously going to happen, and I said to Dan, I don't, I didn't want to walk down the aisle and feel less confident. I wanted to be my confident self, and my so bubbly not self. Cool. Do you know what I mean? Just so, <laughs> <laughs> so it was one of the main one of the main reasons is so I could feel as confident as Danielle would feel, mm. and we can and we could do that. But like I said, it's it's just about my own insecurities, and I haven't even really done anything, like, major. I haven't saved the world. What all I've done is sort something Don't out. Don't go off the me. subject of the wedding. Yeah. No, it will be... It will be happening. Obviously, I don't want to give anything away. Have you put well, questions? I mean, I don't... No. no, we're not even engaged yet. No. <laughs>